Howdy, everybody. My name is Kalen Fox. I am originally from Louisville, Kentucky. Spent my youth days at a, a local all-boys high school, St. X, where I won two state titles, player of the year, uh, Mr. Soccer, first team all states. I took my career to the next step after high school and, and played at the University of Kentucky, a Division I school in Lexington. Spent four years there, had a redshirt year my junior year because of a injury due to breaking my collarbone. So I took my fifth year at a small school in St. Francis, Pennsylvania, Loretto to be exact. There I went to school and received my MBA, so my master's in business administration. After that, I went on a bunch of trials. I went on six to seven trials across the months of January through March of 2018. I didn't land anywhere. I played USL2 in Mississippi in 2018, um, went on a few trials during that, but didn't end up landing anywhere. After that, I looked abroad, specifically Iceland. Um, I landed in Iceland, my first professional contract in 2019. I spent a season out there, did really well. Um, my first year as a pro, I was the club player of the year, which was awesome. And then after that, because of the season that I had in 2019, I moved up. So I played in the first division of Iceland in 2020. Of course, some complications with COVID, but we were still able to get a 15 to 16 game season out in Iceland in 2020. After that, I decided to come home. So I played at FC Tucson in USL League One for 2021 and 2022. I recently just signed a new deal with Lexington Sporting Club. It is a first year team in USL League One that's going to start in 2023. So we leave for preseason here in just a month. I'm excited to, to share a couple of challenges that I've had in my career, one being in high school, one being in college, and then one being post. In high school, I wasn't a great player, I'll be honest. I was average at best. My freshman year, freshman tryouts come along, and I barely make the freshman team at my local high school. 17th man, always the last guy to get in, but um, three years later... I held up a state title. Um, I was the captain. I was Mr. Soccer. I was Kentucky Player of the Year, um, high school All-American, all of those accolades and awards. I think my freshman year in high school, it was due to not being in tune with my body. I was still growing. I was still a little bit immature. I didn't really have the love of the game that I ended up having a couple years later down the road. But I think for that instance, just enjoying the game, um, having fun with friends and enjoying the process is kind of what got me through that. I had a really good friend that we would go out to our local grade school in our neighborhood in the summers and just kick the ball around and work on things that we weren't great at. My left foot in particular, my long balls, my headers, speed and agility. So doing that for my sophomore and junior summers really led to me having um, a, a great senior year, which led to all those awards, which eventually um, put me in a great spot to be uh, recruited for the University of Kentucky, where I played Division One soccer. Um, so that was my first kind of setback, really close to, to quitting the game. I'm glad I didn't. Um, the second one came in college, my junior year. In the summer, um, I was playing on a team down in Knoxville, and I broke my collarbone. I was mountain biking and decided to go down this mountain that I didn't didn't need to do. Um, so I was going down, and I went over the front handlebars and broke my collarbone. So that put me out six to eight weeks. It was two days before preseason where I got cleared by the doctors. So I wanted to get fit. I wanted to get ready as quickly as possible. I went out to play local indoor and tripped and fell and broke it again. This caused me to have... have to redshirt my junior year. It was a really a really dark year for me. Um, I had done well my freshman and sophomore year at Kentucky. Um, a constant starter. We did well my sophomore year and it was over like that. So every couple weeks I'd go to the doctor and he'd say, hey, a couple more weeks, you're, you'll be back in the field. It's still healing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so having to watch training, watch games and watch my, my team compete and win um, was tough from the sidelines because I wanted to be out there. I'm sure those listening know how hard injuries can be. Um, um, but I think it taught me patience. 
It taught me determination. I think all of those hours on the sidelines doing rehab and trying to make myself better. Um, I spent a lot of time working on mental health and just understanding that bad things happen throughout your career. Um, very few of us will get through a career being injury free. Um, I spent 16 to 18 weeks because of my collar run. Um, so those were two initial setbacks in, in my career early on. After I graduated St. Francis in December of 2018, I started basically a year of trials. So we're talking in February, I was on trial with Seattle Sounders S2, who were in the USL championship at the time. I spent three weeks with them. The first week was about 40 of us and only six guys made it to the second team training for preseason. I was one of those seven guys. So you're talking a week of training, hard, very taxing on the mind, both physically um, and, and mentally. Um, so I made it there. And then after, after that, I spent two weeks with the second team, uh, was brought onto the office, had a really good trial and was like, hey, um, unfortunately, we're going to go our separate ways. I made it back to my apartment and, and booked another trial. On the next day, I was on a flight from Seattle, Washington to Charlotte, North Carolina, and was on another week trial there. Didn't make the team. So you're talking about going from coast to coast, team to team, and having to switch your mindset from, hey, I did so well at Seattle, having been let go. The next day, I'm with a new team, new locker room, new guys, um, new coaching staff, and having to switch your mindset from that trial with Seattle is over. Now let's get ready. Let's get engaged in less than 24 hours to start a new one in Charlotte. Um, after that, I went on a few other trials. So I think that initially going from state to state, team to team, locker room to locker room is really tough. Getting a constant no getting a constant, hey, you're almost there, but we just don't have the money or we just don't see you fitting it with the, within this team or within, within this locker room. Um, so the constant same phrases, same messaging was, was really tough um, mentally. After that, I decided to play USL League 2, which is amateur. So for four months, I decided to stay fit and, and try as hard as I can to keep getting more trials and keep getting that yes that I was always looking for. After the USL League Two season, um, nothing was nothing was coming. So I pretty much resorted to trying in Europe. Um, after that, I finally landed a contract in Iceland and my professional career began. So I think you're always gonna receive that no, obviously, until you get that yes. For me, it was eight no's until I received that yes. So if you believe in yourself, if you're consistent, if you create opportunities, I think eventually you're going to receive that yes that you're you're always wanting, whether it's getting into that dream school of yours, whether it's getting that dream job, or like for me, getting that contract and, and printing it off and signing it in front of my parents, my friends, and my family, and, and getting that ultimate yes. So from high school, not making my, barely making my freshman team, to a major setback in college, having to spend an extra year at St. Francis and, and ultimately getting my MBA, which I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful for. And then having to go to five, six, seven trials before getting that yes are three key factors and obstacles throughout my career that if I didn't push, if I didn't try, then those wouldn't have ultimately happened. And I would have signed the professional, uh, my pr first professional contract in Iceland and um, be able to be the first ever signing at my new club, Lexington Sporting, uh, here in Lexington, Kentucky.